the telephone is the most popular method of communication, having been around for more than 100 years in various forms. The landline telephone is still important for businesses and homes. However, mobile phones are fast becoming the favored technology. Around 92% of people in the world have mobile phones. They range from cheap and cheerful call and text only devices to smartphones that can do far more such as email, web browsing, and play music. Recently, smartphones allow you to install extra applications or apps as they are called. There are apps of virtually any interest from movie listings to at-home workouts and even heart monitors. A satellite phone is a type of phone that can be used in more exotic locations where there is neither land, line, or mobile coverage. These connect directly to an orbiting satellite. They're not cheap, but they let you speak from anywhere on Earth. There are also telephones that work over the internet rather than the usual telephone line. If both you and the person you are calling have the same kind of phone, then the calls are absolutely free. Advantages of this method of communication are you can get immediate feedback, your conversations are relatively private, you can call anyone anywhere in the world, you can call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and internet-based calls are free. Disadvantages of the telephone are the person you are calling must be available to take your call. Sometimes the line might be busy and they cannot pick up. Generally, you have to pay for every minute of the call while you're on. Sometimes you may get noise and interference, and also you do not see the person's body language. A fax, short for facsimile machine, transmits a copy of written and graphical information through the telephone line. It works similar in a way to a photocopier, except the copy is transmitted to a distant machine via the telephone network. Each fax machine has a telephone number. This may or may not be shared with a telephone. Faxes are widely used in business offices because they make it very easy to transmit invoices, orders, rough drawings, copies of contracts, and so on. It is now possible to send and receive faxes by email. The email is sent to a service company who then converts it to a normal fax message and sends it to the telephone number you specify. It also works the other way around. You can have a fax to email service where someone sends a fax in the usual way of calling a telephone number, but the other end it gets converted into a PDF document that is then forwarded to an email address. Faxes are fairly inexpensive, they're simple to use, they allow exact copies of handwritten information, and as long as the fax machine is switched on, it can receive messages. They do not need any specialist installation or cabling as they make use of the existing telephone line. Disadvantages of the fax machine are, if the fax is using the same number as the telephone, it can prevent callers from getting through or calls being made. You do not receive any immediate response or feedback from your recipient with the fax machine. It is possible that you might dial the wrong number and send your document to someone else. If the receiving machine is busy, your fax will not be delivered. Sometimes the fax machine is out of paper and you may not notice. The quality of the document which is received is poor and might have lost some of the fine details. If the receiving machine is busy, your fax might end up under a whole load of other faxes which arrive after it. It can take a long time to transmit if you have many sheets of paper. The fax machine can run out of paper without noticing.